What's going on guys? Noah from Kicking the Rats TV and first off start off with this video I'd like to say I'm sorry about last week's Tackle Tuesday which never showed up. Um, I got sick and almost wasn't able to fish a tournament that I fished this past Saturday. Um, so I'm sorry about that guys. I was sick. There wasn't really anything I could do about that. Um, but today's Tackle Tuesday is over reels. I know you guys have been wanting to see this and I am going to have a Rod and Reel Arsenal video coming out soon, very soon. Actually, I'm planning on filming it today, so you guys will see. Um, so let's start off with the reels. I'm gonna start with the spinning reels, um, just for the fact of, I only have a couple of them. Um, this one I actually just opened in the box. I have a couple of them. This is a Revo Premier spinning reel um, by Abu Garcia. All my reels that I use are by Abu Garcia's. Um, I think they last a long time. They're really smooth, um, really high quality reels. I really love Abu. Um, I've tried many other companies and um, Abu just worked out best for me and um, I really love them. So starting off with the Revo Premier, really smooth spinning reel. This is about the best one they have in my opinion. Um, this is a new one. I do have a couple more and I, honestly I don't use spinning reels much. I'm not the person to um, throw something on a spinning reel much just to be completely honest with you. Like if I throw a shaky head, I'm going to throw it on a bait caster. That's just how I am. I, I don't, I don't like a spin reel too much, but if I throw like a drop shot, if I'm dropping a drop shot down, or I'm dropping a jigging spoon, um, I'll go with the spinning reel. Um, I don't mind doing that. But if I'm throwing like a top order, like a popper or something like that, I'll also use a spinning reel. Um, but this is a really great spinning reel. If you're looking for um, a higher quality spinning reel, that's really great. Definitely look up the Revo Premier by Ivo Garcia. Really smooth reel, really great casting, especially if you put some braid on this um, and then tie a leader to fluorocarbon. It's, I mean, it's cast phenomenal. Um, next, spinning reel. And these are actually the only two Abu Garcia spinning reels or spinning reels in general I own. Um, this is the Abu Garcia Aura. Um, this is a pretty good reel for price. Um, it's fairly priced, pretty um, inexpensive reel. So for you guys that are in a price range, definitely go with the Abu Garcia Aura spinning reel. Um, this one's, as you can tell, if you compare it to this, it's a little bit bigger. Um, now when I buy, I bought this one when I first started fishing. Now I like to range towards the smaller style spinning reels. Um, but yeah, guys, you can get this in a smaller one if you guys are interested in that. Um, but if yeah, if you're in a price range, um, definitely go for the Aura um, spinning reel. Definitely for the price, it's well worth it. So now let's jump into the bait casters. I actually respooled every single reel I own today. And it was a pain in the butt, but I finally got it over with. $200 in line later. You guys know how it is. Um, I got everything spooled up. Because if you guys don't know, I have nationals and world finals in July. So pre, I, I want to be prepared for it. I'm going to pre-fish Pickwick this week, in the next coming up days. Um, by the time you see this, I'm going to be actually down um, in Alabama. So um, the first one is going to be a Revo Premier. And this is the bait casting version of the spinning version. As you can tell, it's pretty similar. Um, this is actually a really great reel, guys. If you guys aren't looking to spend um, as much money, like for the Revo MGX, I would definitely go with the Premier. It's still really, really, really smooth. Um, it's a step above the STX. And actually, talking about the STX, if you guys don't know what that one is, that's the one that doesn't have like the gold on it. It's all silver. I do not have it with me today. I'm guessing I sold it. Um, or I just can't find it. I might have it at the house. Um, I've used those. Those are really great as well. But when you get the STX in the Premier, you got to make sure you turn the internal brakes off. Because if you don't turn the internal brakes off, it's going to cast like crap. I want to be completely honest with you. It's not going to cast good. And you're going to be like, man, this is a crappy reel. But if you go in it and you turn those um, internal brakes off, that thing will cast a mile. And I see all those reviews. Oh, this thing sucks. All oh, this thing sucks. It does not suck. Just turn the brakes off. Fix all your problems. Because um, I honestly, I thought the same thing when I got it until I fooled around with it. Um, but Revo Premier, if you're looking for a pretty um, high quality reel, definitely go for the Premier. Um, and these reels that I'm showing you guys, there's most of these are 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reels, but this one right here is actually a 9 to 1 gear ratio reel. So really, really fast. It's called the Revo Rocket. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Um, it was the first 9 to 1 gear ratio reel on the market. Um, so when would I use this reel? I would use it for like swim baits, um, when I'm punching and flipping, 
I like because the reason is when you're punching and flipping, guys. When you're flipping in that grass, you guys all know about that. Um, you got you want to get that fish out. You're, you're, you have your rod tip in the air. You're wanting to get that fish out of that grass. And um, the reason I would throw on a swim bait is because you're, most of the time you're steaming those swim baits. You're trying to get those fish all aggressive and piss them off and make them hit that thing. Um, so you really want to really really fast. And overall, like this reel casts really well. Um, so I would highly recommend it. I own two of them. Um, and I got them when they first came out and they haven't failed me. So I would definitely recommend that. And here's my overall favorite reel, guys. It is a little pricey, but it, I guarantee you it's gonna be worth it. So if you guys are looking for a great Christmas present, um, definitely go with this. This is just the standard Revo MGX. I own so many of them, guys. Um, I love them so much. Contacted Abu and told him how much I love it. Because compared to these, I mean, these are all great. They do have the cases that, like the Revo Rocket, you'll use for different baits and stuff. But for just a standard reel, definitely the Revo MGX. I mean, that's definitely my favorite reel. I love it paired up with a St. Croix Legend Extreme rod. Um, just such a great combo. But for pretty much quality and everything, Revo MGX you cannot go wrong with. It's such a great reel. Um, talking about the Revo MGX, let's jump into the Revo MG Extreme. Um, by Abu Garcia and this is pretty much just an upgraded version of the Revo MGX and I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys I am I am sponsored by Abu guys if you guys don't know already um, but I'm going to be 100% honest with you in this video and on my opinion about the reels um, this reel for the price I honestly wouldn't go for it I would go for um, the Revo MGX I'd rather have a couple Revo MGX's and pay a little bit more money than have one of these that's just my opinion on it. I think the Revo MGX just casts phenomenal and you can't really upgrade more than that in my opinion. Um, it, this does cast a little bit better, but for the price guys, Revo MGX, go for it. Um, really great reel, really sick looking guys. You got the red going on, um, a little red and black, but really solid reel. Um, but yeah, pretty much Revo MGX I would go for. What I really like about this one is like the handles on it. They're really, really small. I'm a fan of smaller handles. Um, I really like that. I like the ones on the Revo MGX standard as well. Here's a reel that I recommend to everybody, guys. Right here, um, I've owned so many of these, and I've got rid of a lot of them just to upgrade the Revo MGXs and stuff. This is a Revo SX. You're gonna get it for around 140, 150 bucks, so it's reasonably priced, um, and I, I have no complaints about it. Honestly, every once in a while you'll buy one of these, and it will cast as good as the Revo MGX. I don't know why it's like. Has some magical gears in it or something. I don't know, but um, they cast phenomenal, guys. This one I have some braid on right now. Um, I haven't respooled this one, but um, really great reel, um, especially when you throw a braid on this and cast like a dream. Um, but for price and everything, guys, honestly, if I could pick any one of these for price and quality, it would definitely be the Revo SX. But if you're wanting something higher quality and the performance is just going to be phenomenal and you're going to want and you're going to be willing to pay the extra money, I'll go with the Revo MGX. But if you are in a price range, Revo SX is the way to go. Can't go wrong with it. It's a really great reel. And for the price, I mean, come on, man. It's awesome. All right, jumping into the Revo Winch by Abu Garcia. Um, and there, I'm not going to recommend this for all baits. There's a reason why. Um, this is a 5 to one, the 1 gear ratio reel. And I'm going to be using it for crankbaits. I'm sure most of you guys know that um, crankbaits are going to be running a little bit slower. So... Um, I would definitely just use this with crankbaits. I haven't used it too much with other things like spinnerbaits and stuff. I don't really mess around with that. Just mostly crankbaits. Um, it's a really great reel, guys. It casts phenomenal. It casts similar to the Revo SX. Honestly, I think it casts a little bit better to be completely fair with you. But if you're going for overall reel for everything, go with the SX. Don't go with this because this is specific techniques, specific um, for like crankbaits and stuff. Um, I can throw a 10XD on this thing and launch it. My, like, like a, it feels like a mile, um, especially with my synchro rod. If you guys haven't um, checked out the Mojo Bass glass cranking rod, I guarantee you that it's the best crankbait rod ever. And it's so well priced, it's like a hundred bucks. And it's a great rod. Um, and I paired up with this Revo Winch. So if you're looking for a good cranking reel, definitely Revo Winch, 5 to 1 gear ratio reel. It's definitely the way to go. Um, I have a couple of friends that own one and they really love it. it just casts really well. And the last reel that I'm gonna be showing you guys today is the Revo Beast. 
And if you guys don't know, this is the newest Abu Garcia reel. Um, and this thing, this thing looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and the handle's more wide and it's gonna have more torque. More torque and you're gonna be pulling in more line. But um, this, <laughs> this reel looks really sick. Um, it's got like a claw mark on the side. It's really shiny. It's just, it's, it's a beast. It's a beast. I don't know, it's pretty cool, guys. I, mean, I haven't had it too long, I just started using it. I actually used it in one of my latest Pond videos. Um, I tried it out and I was like, man, this thing casts amazing. It actually really casts it good. I cast it all the way across the pond, which the pond's really small, but um, I was really surprised with it. But guys, if I could really layer it down, down to, layer it down, God, I'm getting all country up here. If I could layer it down to like a couple reels, if you're looking for that more higher quality reel, the one, Honestly, all these are gonna last you a long time. I'm not gonna say this one's gonna last you longer than this one. But if I could pick out one, if you're gonna to wanna to spend a little bit of money, definitely Reboot MGX, man. I, I, it's so lightweight, it's low profile reel. Um, you can cast, like like I said, I don't use spinning reels for shaky heads. I can cast shaky head on this far. It's meant for casting light baits. I mean, it's such a great reel, guys. I, I own so many of them. I can see some in the background, because I was, um, Respawn on my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of them in the background right now. That's how much I love this reel. I mean, it's phenomenal. And I'm about to start selling off some of these just to get some more Revo MGXs, or I'm going to order some more Revo MGXs. And why I have so many is because my dad fishes too with me. So um, it's not like they're all mine. But. Um, but yeah, guys, and if you're looking for a reel that's really in your price range, man, Revo SX, you can't go wrong with it. And they do make some other non or inexpensive reels, um, which I believe is called the Black Max, Silver Max. I know the Black Max is around like 50 bucks, maybe a little bit cheaper. Um, and my friend owned one, and he had one that literally casted better than this. It was insane. I, I don't get it. Like I said, sometimes the internals in them just, I guess they come amazing. Um, but you can always go with something like that. It's really great as well. I heard some good things about it. Um, so if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, go with that. But if you're looking for a reel that's going to really last you a long time, it's going to be high quality, it's going to cast good, you're going to love it, so you're not going to have any problems with it, definitely Revo SX, guys. Um, so that's going to be about it, guys. That's my opinion um, on my reels that I own. The spinning reels, like I said, I don't use too many. Premier's really great reel. The Ore is a good reel for price. They're all going to last you a long time. Um, really high quality. I never really had to clean any of my reels, to be completely honest with you. I'm not going to lie with you. Um, I've really had no problems. I have no complaints with my Abbey Reels. So definitely check it out. I know you guys, some of you guys are going to be Shimano fans. Some of you guys are going to be Luz fans. I know you're going to have that. But once you stay, it's like it's like an iPhone Android thing. One person going to have an iPhone. One person going to have an Android. You're just going to be one of those people. You know what I mean? It's just how it is. But um, I started off with like Luz. And then I moved to a little bit of Shimano. And then I went to Abbey and I just fell in love with Abbey. So I mean, I, I've gone through it all, guys. I know. I've thrown them all. Um, Abbey Garcia, I really love. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could please give the video a thumbs up, that really means a lot. Um, it gives me a lot of support, guys. And please leave a comment. If you guys leave a comment, let me know how the video was. Also, this new angle right here, if you guys like it, the only reason I'm in here doing the video with this new angle is for the fact of it is hot in my dad's um, back garage of his business. And it, it, I mean, it is scorching hot. So, I mean, I, I want to be like sweating on the video and everything. But, um, let me know what you think about the angle, if it's alright. I mean, I'm sure the lighting's a little bit better so you guys can see, you can see what I'm showing you and everything. Um, but yeah, like I said guys, please leave a comment below. I do remember that, I see your comment, and I will remember your name, I will remember everything you say. I mean, um, that's how much it means to me guys. Please give the video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, check out my latest tournament video. Um, it was the Fat Sack Tournament, I actually ended up getting first place. Um, definitely go check that out, it's a pretty sick video. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you got some good information. Like I said, give the video a thumbs up. See you guys next time.